Thank you so much. My name is Angie Craig, and I represent Minnesota's second congressional district. And this has truly been a stunning last couple of weeks in the United States Congress. I've heard a lot of talk over these past two weeks from my Republican colleagues about what they think is best for our students, our parents, and our teachers. They say we need to ban certain books from classrooms, and that will somehow keep our children safe. They say we need to pick and choose which students can get the mental health care they need, and that will somehow keep our children safe. As a mother of four sons and a grandmother of one, I have some questions for my Republican colleagues who are so concerned about our children's safety. How many more children have to be murdered in their classrooms before you'll even contemplate banning assault weapons instead of books? How many more parents need to worry when they drop their children off at school before you'll start to support a background check on gun sales? How many more teachers need to lead their students through active shooter drills before you will ask Congress to help us stop the carnage? They want you to think that this is an either or issue, that we either have basic American rights and freedoms or we have nothing. But that's not, that's not how it is. There are extremes that we're talking about. This is about common sense reforms like the majority of Americans, including many responsible gun owners like myself. We can have the Second Amendment that allowed me last weekend to go trap shooting, and we can take away assault weapons of war from our streets in America. But the difference between my colleagues standing behind me here today and my colleagues in the Republican Party is that the Republicans are willing to sit back and let it continue to happen. And until they're willing to stop kids from getting murdered in their classrooms, I don't want to hear another damn word from them about keeping our schools or our communities safe. Not one more word. We have failed my kids' generation in this country over the past 25 years. We cannot fail my grandsons, and I will not stop until we make that happen. Thank you so much.